Good evening and welcome to St. Luke African Methodist Episcopal Church. I'm Reverend Monique Summers, the pastor at St. Luke, located in Opelika, and we're just grateful that you have decided to join us this evening for our Advent devotion. We are using the Advent Prophecy and Expectation, a guide for meditation and action 2020. Uh, this book has been sponsored by the Departments of Education from the AME Church, AME Zion Church, and the CME Church. Tonight, we have a contributor by the name of Victor Taylor, who wrote this devotion <clears throat> entitled The Goat. But we're most excited tonight, not only that you're sharing with us for this Advent meditation, but we're just happy that God has been using our young people all week long to bring the meditation. And on tonight, we have a special guest that's joining me, one of our very own members, uh, Janae Bandy, and we're just excited to have her with us. She will be coming to us momentarily to bring this Advent meditation. We ask that you would give her your undivided attention as she leads us on tonight. For the Bible says that a little child shall lead them. So listen to what this child has to say. Janae, you're on. Good evening. Our subject tonight is the goat. Our scripture comes from Luke chapter one, verse 26 through 28. He will be great. He will be called the son of the most high and the Lord God will be, will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. Luke chapter one, 32. In every sport, there's a continual argument about who is the goat, greatest of all time. Maybe we might even get a hint of that thought concerning women when we see Roman Catholics praying beginning, beginning with Hail Mary full of grace. Mary is considered full of grace, but it's grace that was received just like all believers. It is not a grace to give to others. Only God, as Jesus, gives grace to others. He's without a doubt the goat. Mary indeed showing great humility, but the goat shows greater humility. As he becomes human, he did not exploit his divinity and went to die on the cross for the sins of human humanity. We focus on Jesus because no one has influenced history more than Jesus Christ. Charles Spurgeon once said, conquerors are great and he is the greatest of them. Deliverers are great and he is the greatest of them. 
and he is the greatest. Liberators are great, and he is the greatest of them. Saviors are great, and he is the greatest of them. Jesus is great in the perfection of his nature. Jesus is great in the grandeur of his offices. Jesus is great in the splendor of Jesus is great in the estimation of his people. Jesus will be the son of Mary, but not only her son. He would be also and be known as the son of God. He is a Messiah prophesied to David. Second Samuel chapter seven, verse 12 through 16. Who has rightful authority to rule over Israel? And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Let us pray. Gracious God, I thank you for the great things you have done. Like Mary, I declare, here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. In the name of the greatest of all time, Jesus, I pray, amen. This is our reading for tonight. Now I turn it over to Reverend Summers. Thank you, Janae, for this awesome meditation on tonight, the GOAT. She has done an excellent job constantly reminding us throughout the reading that Jesus Christ is the greatest of all times. And so we give praise to God for what we have witnessed here on tonight. Now, as she was reading and I meditated on this today, the song came in my heart, Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. So as we do the final prayer on tonight, thanking God for once again, using a young person, a YP deer, to lead us in our Advent meditation. It just gives my heart, makes my heart just be overflowing with joy to see what we have witnessed all week long and on tonight to be reminded that Jesus is the greatest of all times. So we will now have our closing prayer. Let that song just, just, marinate just be in your spirit as we pray this closing prayer about jesus the greatest of all times dear heavenly father god we just come before you right now thanking you for another opportunity dear heavenly father to assemble ourselves together to witness young people being used by you to bring us the advent god we thank you for all who have come and we have another that is scheduled even on tomorrow night we just pray right now that you continue to use them in the way that you see fit. And then, oh God, as we were reminded tonight that Jesus is the greatest of all times. And so since he is the greatest, the song writer says, oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. The songwriter said, for he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. Christ the Lord, the greatest of all time. And the songwriter said, and we will give him all glory. And we will give him all glory. Oh God, help us tonight to give you all glory. For you alone are worthy. And so we come just to adore you. Now, God, we pray that if someone is listening on tonight and they do not know you right now in the pardon of their sins, we pray that as they listen to the meditation on tonight, that they would receive Christ as their Savior and their Lord. And so, God, if someone is listening that would like to rededicate their life, we offer Christ tonight. You've already said if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus Christ is the son of God, we shall be saved. And so we thank you on tonight as we march triumphantly toward Advent season where we celebrate the birth of Christ who came to be the savior for the entire world. We give you praise on tonight. We give you honor and we give you the glory. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, we do pray. And every believer, I'll say amen, amen, amen. 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 We give God praise. This does conclude our Advent meditation on tonight. Again, we thank Janae for what she has delivered to us. I will go to sleep tonight thinking of the greatest of all times. And we know without a shadow of a doubt, as we have been told on tonight, 
that that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank you again. Join us again on tomorrow night uh, at the same time. And we will move forward with our Friday night Advent as Ladesia Willis will come and bring us the meditation. Good night and God bless all of you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sing that. You deserve the glory.